Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video today. It's gonna be still tray one, week one, except now I have buttons. And I will show you those if you stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, I have buttons now, which I will show you. They're like, I don't know, you can see like here. This is my teeth, by the way. I don't have them in right now. So they're in like there. The buttons aren't as big as I thought they would be, which is good because um, you don't really want them to be too big. Honestly, it feels weird enough eating, but I will say that when you're trying to chomp down on something and like your button from your bottom teeth hits your top teeth, it's like, oh, like it's like sandpaper texture in a way, and it's terrible. It's terrible, but it, the, it's like more of an uncomfortable feeling than a pain. It's like just sends that shiver. It's like a nails on a chalkboard for all of you that don't like that. Um, but yeah, so these are my trays, and they have, you know, I don't know if you can. This is one. I'm trying to do this all one-handed, sorry. And this is two. You can kind of see the logo there. Some of it kind of came off though because I like grinded it off, I guess. Ground it off. Grinded. But yeah, my teeth, it literally fits the shape of my teeth. I did cut my Invisalign though. I cut it. Um, my dentist said it was okay, but like um, I don't know if you see like the webbing everywhere and then in like these teeth there is no webbing because I cut it because right here uh, was really getting sore and it was actually cutting my my like the whole top layer of my gum off and I was not enjoying that and there was no comfort I was getting no matter how I adjusted myself, how I adjusted the Invisalign and it was just getting to be too much. Although I will say that when your buttons aren't in, you can sit there and move it up and down, which you're not supposed to do, but it's extremely like tempting. And then when the buttons come in, you cannot. They are very in place. The buttons keep them in place. And for anybody that doesn't know what the buttons are, go ahead and click on my first video. I do have a playlist for Invisalign and I do explain what the buttons are. So I'm gonna put them in now because it's been a while since I've had them in. I just finished lunch and then brushed my teeth and wanted to do this video, which is why I am in my all natural form. Okay, so. Oh, and another thing before I pop these in, my lisp completely went away and then I got my buttons on and it's like sort of back but not as bad as it was in the beginning but it's very different going from just trays to trays and buttons but you also have to be careful because the buttons push it out and then it clicks in when it goes over the button and sometimes it'll like go out and snag your inner cheek Oh my goodness, that hurt. I did that once and I will not do that again. So, yeah. So it's a little bit more noticeable with them in. But it's still like, if you look at me from a distance, it's not bad. Let's swap arms, because ow. Okay, so I promised that I would tell you what is in my bag. I will tell you and show you what's in my bag. So, first of all, travel toothbrush. I always carry the kind that literally turns into a full-size toothbrush because I don't like them to be really small. Secondly, I do bring mouthwash because oftentimes when I'm out and about, like I went to the mall and I had those 
pretzels that everyone gets at the mall, I feel like. And there was just like, I wasn't about to sit there and literally brush my teeth in that crowded bathroom. So I waited, I was about to leave anyway. So I left and when I left, I went in my car and I put mouthwash in and then I spit it out and then I stuck my trays in. So I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I was gonna, I, I cleaned it up really good when I got home, but when you're out, I don't know. So I will, when I'm out, sometimes use just mouthwash. Sometimes you can't though. Oh my goodness, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the bread went in all of my buttons. Buttons change things too. Like you can do a lot more without having the buttons on them because they're still normal and smooth. But once you stick those buttons on, it adds all kinds of texture and it really grabs onto things. And I lost a button already. Yep, I literally lost the button the first day I got the button. All I did was brush my teeth. I don't brush my teeth that hard, I didn't think, but I was just brushing my teeth and then like, I'm like, well, I like took off a piece of the button and I called my dentist and I was like, hey, so my button fell off already. And he was like, yeah, it's okay. We'll put it on next week when you come because I'm coming next week for my next set of trays. So this is a, still the same first set. I wore it for a week without buttons and then I just got my buttons put on two days ago and today I'm still wearing the first tray and then next week I'm gonna get a, my second tray which they say hurts more than the first one so <laughs> we'll see honestly the tray doesn't hurt that bad it's um just your gums your teeth hurt like up in here like oh my goodness the bones go way up in and like you can feel them moving and it like push pushes against your gums like in a way that makes it very uncomfortable to your gums so i had to get some Oragel. that's in my to-go bag Oragel for your gums not really your teeth because that wouldn't make sense right your gums it's for your gums because your gums are being pushed on from the inside and it's terrible and there's like not a whole lot you can do. You're not supposed to take ibuprofen because it reduces swelling as well and then that like slows down the process I guess. So they advise that you take Tylenol. I didn't have any of that in my house. So off to the store to get Tylenol I went and that helps but not much. And then ugh, I got the best, like the highest strength aura gel that you can get to try to help. And that helps so good for like 10 minutes. And then it helps like halfway for like a half hour. And then you have to like reapply. Ugh. So when it hurts, it hurts guys. And it hurts for a while, but it only hurts for like one or two days. And then you're fine for the rest of the week. So I don't know, take that however you want to take that. But I'm telling you, it hurts your gums and your jaw in some places like you can feel the bones like pushing and pressing in your jaw not like in the sense that you actually feel the individual bones but you can just be like oh like there was a spot up in my jaw right here i felt like i had been punched in the face but it was just my invisalign moving my teeth there so and i'm guessing that like as the trays go on and move different teeth it'll hurt in different spots i don't know but first week has been okay though. I, I, I'm feeling okay about it, I'm feeling confident. I did cut that one little piece, but my bag has a toothbrush, toothpaste, travel size of course, and then um, Oragel, and I have this little toothpick thing that helps take anything out of the cracks because I don't like dental floss. I suppose you could use dental floss too, but I literally just got a travel size pick and the pick works just fine um, it's kind of cute actually and I really like that when I have like things in, in my teeth or if my toothbrush didn't get it all you know I like to make sure to do that instead of dental flossing because I don't like flossing I have a water pick actually for my house that's how much I don't like floss it just hurts and I bleed every time I don't know but my water pick 
I like that and then the physical pick I guess I don't mind that either so we've got that and then I have a little like travel sized thing of um, Tylenol because that is essential some days not every day but there are days my friends there are days and then I also have my case that comes with it and I'll, I'll put a picture right here of like how everything came to me and I really also like to just put it all in a bag so I just have a little bag that it all goes in and of course my munchies go in there as well because every time you take out your Invisalign you're supposed to put your munchies in there which by the way for those of you that watched my first video and I was like oh there's like bubbles down here and I don't know how to get rid of it yet because I'm still learning munchies get rid of those it's like just air in between your teeth and when you clamp down on your munchies it'll all go away for the most part if it doesn't you just kind of like like suck it out <laughs> basically um and then it'll be gone like There's not any in there now. Your buttons really push things into place differently as well from what I had a week ago. But I still need to use munchies when I go back inside. <laughs> but um, yeah, so munchies are these. And they come in different strengths. So there's the yellow, which is like the gushiest. And then there's the orange, which is sort of gushy. And then there's the red, and it's really firm and you're supposed to chomp on them in certain spots. This spot goes on your front top teeth. This spot munches on your bottom lower teeth. This little hole goes in like your fang pointy teeth and then you munch all the way back to your molars with that. So that's an interesting thing and it really does make a huge difference. And then also the Chewies are these, and basically they just have a hole right through the center and you just chomp on it like evenly all the way throughout your mouth. But I don't like them as much as I thought I would and also it's not what my dentist recommended. So I'm gonna use what my dentist recommended and I am also going to um, probably throw out the other kind. I think that's about it for today's video for all the things that have changed anyway. Yeah, my first night with them was okay. Like I said though, it just rubbed against my gums a lot in the beginning and then once I cut that one little spot out, it was fine. And the only reason I did that is because other people did it on YouTube and they said it was okay with their dentists and I figured it would be fine and it was I had been at my wits end in pain with it. I was like, nope, can't do it anymore. I will just cut it and if worse comes to worse, I will take my next tray like a little early because it was really hurting me for an extended period of time and I was done with that. But yeah, I will definitely keep you guys updated and I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.